Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the meteoric rise of the Milwaukee Bucks this season. To understand this a little better, let's rewind back time a little bit and go back to last season. Last season, Milwaukee Bucks was already a good team. Giannis Antetokounmpo was finally playing like a star. Chris Middleton was the perfect number two for him. And they had Eric Bledsoe and Malcolm Brogdon as two long guards as the perfect complement to them. But Jason Kidd, their coach, was just not able to figure out how to make that team work together. They were very pre predictable offensively, running isos after isos, and very bad defensively. They were just not able to stop anyone. And so, because of the team's record, Jason Kidd was fired midway through that season, and Joe Prunty, the assistant coach, took the team uh, head coach position. So finally, Joe Prunty was able to take the team to the playoffs as the eighth seed, but then they were defeated by the Boston Celtics in seven games, and that team actually didn't have Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward. So it was not at all a really good result. And the Milwaukee Bucks were in for a long off season. But it started off with a bang when Milwaukee Bucks finalized their head coach, Mike Budenholzer, the former coach of the Atlanta Hawks. Budenholzer implemented the space and pace system in Atlanta and he took Atlanta Hawks to the Eastern Conference Finals without any certified superstar. Well, unfortunately, they ran into LeBron James and Kyrie Irving every time and they were just not able to get over the hump. But hey, the Milwaukee Bucks have a superstar of their own, the Greek Freak. So this was a very, very interesting uh, decision and I think from a space and pace system perspective, it would be just perfect for the Milwaukee Bucks. So then the next uh, interesting thing was signing Brook Lopez in free agency. First of all, like Los Angeles Lakers were really stupid in not re-signing Brook Lopez after signing LeBron James in free agency. Like it would, it was just a no-brainer for them to sign him so that he can actually give them the spacing that is... You, you just don't get that many players with that three-point record. Uh, so, anyways, Brook Lopez was a perfect stretch five for the spacing Milwaukee Bucks needed. And with the whole lane freeing up, oh my god, uh, we just couldn't wait for Giannis onto the Kumpo to just wreck havoc. And just kill everyone on offense. <laughs> so, and then once the regular season started, the results were there for all to see. Brook Lopez is having a career year shooting from three. And Giannis is having an MVP year. And he has been just unstoppable. Pretty much every, averaging a double-double every night. And is also averaging around six to seven assists. And a couple of blocks, which is just amazing stat line. And uh, the open lanes also have benefited Eric Bledsoe and Malcolm Brogdon. And Malcolm Brogdon has had a very interesting development from three. Like he has risen all the way to 40% three point shooter, which has really helped the Milwaukee Bucks. It has been just amazing to watch. But to be number one in any conference, you have to be very good at defense as well. And indeed, they were very, very good. They had a very interesting defensive system where their primary goal is to plug the paint, basically just not give an easy two to anyone. And for guarding the three, they are like, they will try to not have the opposition team's three-point shooters like shoot threes but we are going to live with opposing forwards power forwards and centers taking threes 
that is a little interesting and uh, like they are not a perfect defensive team but they have had uh, very much success with this so it's a little interesting and one other thing they do on defense is being creative like one of the highlights of the season was their defense on the reigning MVP James Harden like they made sure that Harden is not using his left hand and dared him to go through the lane where they could utilize their length to actually block his shots. So uh, that was a very interesting tactic and Harden had a very tough time finding his shots or finding his players. Like another advantage to that was uh, they actually nullified his step back jumper as they were closer to, sh to his shooting arm. So uh, it was like really shocking to see them shut down an amazing like offensive monster like Harden so yeah the Bucks are deservedly at the number one spot in the Eastern Conference and but in the playoffs uh, I think injury to Brogdon is going to be a key factor I think so I see them at least making the Eastern Conference finals against uh, Philly or Toronto and uh, uh, I think who are the best team uh, is from there should win but I think that would be a great big step forward for this small town franchise. And yeah, good luck to the Milwaukee Bucks.